Hello Jisters! Now, energy is often a hot topic for debate. As we burn on fossil fuels such as oil, coal and gas, we are forced to explore new types of renewable, sustainable energy sources. Now, sources such as wind power, solar power and hydropower are well known to the general public, but it's only recently that another type of renewable energy source has re-entered the debate. And that source is geothermal energy. Geothermal energy literally translates as heat of the earth. It's a sustainable source of energy stored in the form of heat underneath the earth's surface and a result of radioactive decay and continual heat loss from the earth's formation. Humans have used geothermal energy since Paleolithic times when hot springs were used for bathing and the Roman Empire regularly used it for public baths and as an early form of central heating. But it's only in modern times that it's been used for electricity generation. Geothermal power plants are usually built in volcanic regions of Earth, such as Iceland, the USA and New Zealand. They work by pumping cold water through pipes into the Earth's surface, where the heat of the planet then evaporates it into steam. This steam then rises up back towards the surface, where it spins a turbine to produce electricity. The entire process is then repeated all over again. Geothermal energy is responsible for some of the best natural displays on the planet, in the form of geysers. Geysers occur when water gets trapped down beneath the Earth's crust, and the geothermal energy starts to heat it up and evaporate it into gas. However, more water falls on top of this gas and traps it within the Earth's crust. Eventually, the pressure builds and builds and builds until it can take no more and finally rushes up back towards the surface, pushes all the water above it all over in one big explosion. Now, the most famous geyser in the world is Old Faithful, which can erupt every 90 minutes or so, and it can eject 32,000 litres of water, 185 feet in the air, in one explosion. 